Welcome back to another episode of That 911 Guy. It's another 996 episode dedicated to the progress on Little Irish. And well, as you can tell by my location, it's all about the interior. I've mentioned before, and it's quite old news, that the interior really does let the 996 down, not in terms of its ergonomics, but absolutely in terms of its haptics. And the goals for in here really are long-term in terms of changing that. It's not gonna be cheap. It's not gonna be easy to find a good way forward. However, what we can start with are the touch points inside the car. They're the things really that matter the most and help forge our connection as the driver to the car. I'm talking about seats, steering wheel, and gear shifter. We're going to cover all three of this kind of holy trinity, if you like, and see how we get on. And cover a bit of an update for when it comes to my PCCM. Right though, first things first, top of the list and looking straight ahead of me is the original Porsche steering wheel. I'm not the greatest fan of the 996's steering wheel. Um, I don't like the size, I think it's too big. I also have a real issue with the fact that there's no rake adjustment at all. The other thing I don't like about this wheel is, well, it's nearly 25 years old, it's pretty grotty around the edges and it's starting to show it. So I've decided to take quite drastic measures and that's why this steering wheel isn't actually attached to my car. I'm actually in the passenger seat and this thing here is my new steering wheel. I'll better hop in the driver's side and tell you all about it. Did you fall for it? My wheel came courtesy of Paul Stevens Porsche and its PS Auto Art division of customised parts. A technician whipped the manky old factory wheel off my 996 and installed my new wheel, the beautiful Momo Mod 7, which came with a leather rim, suede is also available, plus I opted for a Porsche crested leather push horn. And here's the result. The Momo text and 12 o'clock marker on the wheel, which usually comes in yellow, were replaced for Irish green, so the wheel could fully match my 996's exterior colour. The Momo Mod 7 is a legendary steering wheel in motorsport and aftermarket circles. This is the race version that inspired the street version, which is the Momo Prototipo. It's one of the very, very best steering wheels to hold that you can ever put in your Porsche. It's 350 millimeters in diameter. The factory wheel I took off is 375 millimeters in diameter. So it's smaller. It's got a 70 mil dish as well, brings the steering wheel nice and close to me a lot closer than the factory wheel which was about here obviously aided by the boss as well don't forget that gives a lot of length um, but again in terms of that driving position just enhances your grip and feel of the car personally but of course it's all down to your own kind of perception of that the momo mod 7 is lightweight obviously and it's cracking value for money it's a couple of hundred quid plus the boss i think that's 66 quid plus that it's made a huge difference to the feel of this car through the palms of my hands um, and as I say, it's extremely budget friendly. Highly, highly, highly recommended from me. All right then, let's talk about this. The solution to my otherwise perfect PCCM Plus. I've lived with this infotainment system for eight to nine months now. And as I said on my original video review of it, it's just the perfect ally to the 996 to drag this car infotainment and media wise into the 21st century the only issue is you have to plug your phone into your cable and it all kind of looks a bit messy sitting there um, in the center console now there is a solution for that and it comes from these guys c play to air that offers essentially a wireless adapter kit so it's one less cable to worry about in this car it's actually compatible for a range of brands, not only Porsche, um, and actually if you look on the website, availability wise, or adaptability, should I say, it says Porsches from 2017 up to the present day. Now that doesn't quite tell all the story because my infotainment system, despite the fact that this is a 1998 car, well, is from 2020, so it should be compatible, and that wireless connectivity between phone and PCCM means I can get in, I don't have to worry about plugging my phone into the cable, and I also don't have to worry about having unsightly cables hanging around the interior. Installation of this, the CPlay 2 Air wireless adapter for PCCM Plus, super, super easy. I can use all the functions of PCCM Plus without having to plug that in. I can just leave it, the phone in my pocket when I get in the car, 
crack on with wherever I need to be and still have all the functionality of PCCM Plus. It's a great bit of kit, it's a worthy upgrade for PCM users on more modern 911 such as the 991 generation but also PCCM and PCCM Plus, that's the classic communication infotainment system for older 911 such as this. I will pop a link to the kit in the description below if you're interested in taking a look further. items left on the agenda for this video the first one as you've just seen is all about my new wooden shifter of course everybody knows the 917 um, 1970 Le Mans winning car driven by Richard Atwood that had a wooden shifter but also the 908 race car beforehand also had a wooden shifter of course for reasons of weight saving latterly the wooden shifter again made from balsa wood appeared on the Carrera GT third parties also make their own renditions of the famous Porsche wooden shifter I've got my own example here, made by Stuttgart Classica here in the UK. The knob itself is made not from balsa wood, but recycled skateboard decks. How cool is that? Why did I change it? Well, the original shifter was absolutely manky, much like the wheel. It had been on the car for 20 odd years. I managed to retain Porsche's original leather gaiter, despite the fact that it was all one piece on the original shifter. I kindly asked Mrs. Sibs, who has a steady hand, to cut off the top of the shifter so I could retain the majority of the leather gaiter and reuse it here. The shifter itself sits slightly taller than the original factory item. Um, it does mean that the throw feels slightly longer, despite the fact that there is a factory short shift kit already fitted to this, but I'm happy to forego that. The product itself, in terms of quality, first class. My only observation is when you buy it online through their website, they do my absolute pet hate of adding VAT at the basket at the end. In this case, it pushed the product from 300 odd into 400 odd. I just don't know why businesses do that. Um, but you're not buying the website, you're buying the product. The product itself, as I say, is absolutely first class. And I think this was 418 quid all in. There are other third party companies all over the internet that will offer you a similar product for a similar price. So it's kind of a case of choosing your poison on that. But as I say, I am super, super happy with this shifter. It brings a little bit more historical reference back into my 996. That's kind of the theme with this, with its kind of sport classic style. So that's the new steering wheel assessed. That's the new shifter assessed. The last thing to look at in terms of that trio of key driver touch points in your car are the seats. Now, as you can see, I've still got my utterly pony original factory non-sport seats. They won't be hanging around because, as I've said in other videos, I think they're absolutely toilet. I have begun my research into alternatives. Top of that list was the pole positions by Recaro, but a trial from a friend's car revealed one or two problems. <laughs> So here's the thing with pole positions, amazing lateral hole, good lumbar support as well. I would even go as far as to say that these seats are supremely comfortable once you're in them. However, the practicality side absolutely lacks. For one, getting in and out can be a bit of an issue. And then there's something else. If you want to get anything in the back, because these are fixed buckets, don't forget. <laughs> It ain't happening. So pole positions are a no. I have actually found the solution in terms of my seat. I'm currently looking for a good example to buy currently. More on that another time. That's about it from inside a very hot 996 Carrera. Plenty more on Little Irish coming up in future instalments as well as other 911s of course. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It means every time I drop a video, you get to see it first. We'll see you soon.